Hey guys, it's going to be a quick review of the Pathos Sniper. This one in particular is an 85. Um, this is my go-to gun. It's my only gun um, that I currently use. Uh, pr I primarily go shore diving, I would say about 90-95% of the time. Uh, the only couple times I've been on a boat were in Mexico. Uh, but this gun is, I think, suitable for all all sorts. So you can do it, use it for hole hunting, you can use it for uh, yellowtail or white sea bass offshore. Or even on the boat, I think this is very capable for some light, very light uh, blue water and mainly shore diving. I think it's perfect. So uh, let's go over the gun. So from the back, we have a Pathos handle. I believe it's called a Universal. Um, I, know they, I know they have the D'Angelo's handle, which are very famous for being very ergonomic, uh, they're very shaped to your hand. This one's pretty, um, I guess you can say generic or pretty, um, yeah, I guess ambidext ambidextrous. Dress. That's it. But. Um, yeah, so this is a, it has this handle. It has the older um, Pathos release system where it has the top release for the line. Uh, the newer ones have the side release. I don't know the exact specs on it, uh, but this is an older model and it has the top release. Uh, you'll see in the back here, you'll see this mount. Uh, this mount is a bicycle mount that I've uh, retrofitted to this gun. Uh, you can see a video on how and why I use this for my GoPro footage in the description below. Um, I'll have that in there, but it does get in the way of lining up my shot, but I think I've uh, moved around that pretty well. But yeah, so that's that. So within the handle, we have all stainless steel internals. Um, we got the trigger, top release, and then we have our shaft, of course. And paired to this gun is a Meandros Fire Reel. And this is spooled up with some braid. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the poundage, but um, this is a nice reel that I like because not only can you adjust the drag or um, with this handle where you push it in and out you push it in and out um, out for loose in for more drag uh, but you could also release the tension the free spool um, the tension release here as you can do with most um, reels so we have that we have the cuttlefish design wrapping over the main in rail in track um, system so what that means is that the shaft falls directly into this kind of um, this canal in the gun. There's some pros and cons with this. Um, a couple pros that I've heard is that it's a little bit more accurate. A couple cons is that it reduces the speed. And more importantly for the you blue water guys that go after really big game, um, if your shaft bends even at the slightest, it's not gonna fit back in here. Um, so it's highly recommend that you bring multiple shafts but from my experience, I've used the same shaft. Um, I haven't caught anything, I would say, largely massive yet, um, but I haven't had any issues so far. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at um, an in-track system such as this uh, Pathos Sniper. Uh, next up, we're gonna go into the bands and the muzzle. So my main band is 16 mil rubber, um, and my kicker band is a 14 mil. And what I typically do is, um, for most, most of these guns, that you'll load the top, up to the assist, you'll flip it over, and there's three kind of power points or kind of uh, places you can extend the rubber on the bottom as well as the top. And you can pull this back all the way to the back, and you could, in theory, pull the main band all the way to the last shark fin if you can. I personally usually don't do that, not only because I think it's a little overkill for the things I'm gonna be shooting, but um, it just hurts, so I'm just gonna be honest. Um, there's that, and then, of course, the kicker. Um, you can load it up as hot as you like. But again, 14 mil, 16 mil rubbers, and these are all using the roller system for, from the Pathos guns. Um, from my understanding, there's no bearings in here. It's all um, the, uh, the hydroplane within the, within the rollers, so you don't need to lube these or anything. Um, just clean them out with fresh water after every dive. You should be good to go. Uh, the last part I'd like to note is the flopper, kind of the shelf here that exists on the muzzle for these Pathos um, sniper guns, is that it holds the flopper from falling out or kind of um, releasing as you're swimming around. Not a huge deal, um, but some people say that it's, um, it helps with hydrodynamics, it helps with that little bit of less resistance as the shaft leaves the gun. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So this is the snipe or the snipe Pathos Sniper 85. I think it's a great all-arounder. Um, it's just long enough where you have that power to go for that white sea bass, that yellowtail, uh, but it's just short enough and maneuverable enough where if you're doing some shore dives, 
um, like I do and you're going through kelp and whatnot and you don't need that distance, you don't need that length, uh, I think this is a great size. Um, so yeah, so this is the Pathos 85 roller. I think it's a great gun. Um, here's some clips of the Pathos shooting um, in the water and you can just see how it releases, but um, I think there's plenty of power here and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.